friction friction the force which comes into play between the two surfaces in contact and opposes the motion of one body over the other is called friction or force of friction properties of friction it has these properties 1 the force of friction acts between two objects in contact with each other 2 the force of friction opposes the motion of an object 3 it acts in a direction opposite to the direction of the motion of an object 4 a rough surface exerts more force of friction than a smooth surface effects of friction when the surface of a body moves over that of another body the friction between them shows these effects friction produces heat frictional force converts mechanical energy into heat energy for example moving parts of a machine become hot friction causes wear and tear in a machine if we compare old car tires with new car tires we will find that the old ones are worn out this is due to the friction between the ground and the car tires friction opposes motion if we roll a football on a leveled ground it stops after some time here too friction opposes the motion advantages of friction 1 due to friction we are able to walk on the ground you know how difficult it is to walk on a slippery ground where friction is much less 2 the friction permits us safe driving on the ground 3 we are able to write on a paper because of friction between a paper and a pen or a pencil 4 the application of brakes stops a car because of the presence of friction between tires and ground and also between brakes and the drum of wheel disadvantages of friction although friction is of great importance in our life yet in many cases it acts as an evil some of the disadvantages of friction are 1 friction reduces the efficiency of a machine as it causes wear and tear in machinery parts in contact and are moving 2 the generation of heat due to friction can damage the surface in contact 3 friction causes wastage of energy the frictional force between the various parts in a machine produces a lot of heat and noise at the cost of mechanical energy hence there is a loss of energy methods of reducing friction although friction between two surfaces can never be totally eliminated but it can be reduced in these ways one by polishing the surface this makes the surface smooth and reduces friction two by using lubricants grease oil when a lubricant is used between two surfaces in contact it forms a thin layer between the surfaces and reduces friction 3 by using ball bearings small balls or rollers made of steel are placed between the two moving surfaces to reduce friction 4 by using wheels or rollers on heavy suitcase we can reduce the friction by using wheels or rollers so that we can pull the suitcase easily on the ground 5 by streamlining the objects moving in air or water encounter a lot of fluid friction resistance is reduced by making the body of these objects streamlined a streamlined body is narrower in front and broader at the back for example aeroplanes ships boats submarines etc have streamlined bodies the bodies of aerial 
and aquatic animals like birds and fish are also streamlined which help them in flying in air and swimming in water respectively know this solid objects usually have more friction than liquid objects when they are pushed together two solid objects might be your feet walking across the dry floor however if you walk across a wet floor your feet are solid and you can slip on the liquid